this is Laura GB and in this video we're going to look at embedding a Power BI report inside a Power App. So here we are inside our Power BI report. We've got two charts that I want to be able to put into a Power App. Sales by product and the week spread. So I press publish and press save on the way and I'm going to put it in the alpha workspace and off it goes. So now it's been successfully published. Let's switch over to that workspace. And there is our report. And if I open it, there we are. We can see our two charts. So we can't do them straight from here. We need to pin them to a dashboard. So hover over the chart, click the pin. And I'm going to create a new dashboard called Toys and click pin. And then I'm going to take that one as well, pin it to the same dashboard. And if I click go to dashboard, there we are, we have our dashboard. Now we're ready to create an app to put them in. So we're going to switch across to Power Apps and let's create a Canvas app from blank. And let's call it Toys and create. So here we are in Power Apps and from the insert ribbon under charts I can prick Power BI tile and there's my workspace and we can pick alpha and ask switch dashboard, dashboard toys and then we look under tile. There's only one tile so let's click that one and see which one has appeared. And there we are, we have a tile which is the sales by product. And that works great, okay? But we've not got the other tile. So what I'm going to do is I am going to save this app. Which means I can do a refresh in a moment. And I'm going to go back to my dashboard. In my dashboard, I got the sales one coming through. The week spread one didn't come through. And it's a really simple fix. We're going to click on the three dots and we are going to go to edit details. And we're not going to do anything in there. We're just going to click apply. And that's all we need to do. Because now I can come back into my app. I can do a close that app. I'm closing it so that I reload it back into my list of apps and let's edit toys and let's go to the insert ribbon and under charts pick Power BI tile workspace alpha toys and there we are it's appeared so now I can go for week spread. So let's lay out our app a little bit. Let's put the charts next to each other. And we're going to add in a drop down so that equivalent of a slicer that we would use in Power BI. So I want to be able to choose which color these are filtered to because in my data was a color column. So what we're going to do is I'm going to insert a drop down it's not text, it's input. I'm going to insert a drop down and into here we're going to put in um, the list of our colours. So I'm going to just take out drop down sample and paste in some text I've got prepared that will give me a list. So therefore what I want to be able to do is when you click here and you pick a colour, these charts get filtered to that colour. What we're going to do is we're going to put we're going to populate a variable when this color changes. So let's go for the action ribbon with my drop down selected and click on change. And let's take out the false. So we're going to do a set and let's expand this down a bit. 
shift return to give herself a new line and let's put in my variable now I start my variables with a double V and we're going to call this oh let's not have a capital H chart filter okay and that's going to be set to now this is a string okay and it's going to start with the first letter of the string it has to be an ampersand because we're adding on to a URL another parameter and this starts with filter and we're going to go with equals now the next part I need to specify which part of the report it comes from. So let's do a quick switch back to Power BI for a moment. And here in Power BI, on the right hand side, we can see our toys table. And that toys table has a column called color. So back into my app, we are going to put in, okay, so the filter equals, and then we start with the name of the table. So it's toys forward slash the name of the column okay and then we do a space now we're going to be doing a o data style filter so it's an equals now if i put in there an apostrophe i then would normally have the color so what we're going to do is we're going to close that string and currently this drop down is called to drop down two So, oops, the, we need an ampersand to join those strings together. So it's then going to be drop down to dot selected text dot value. And then another ampersand. Now, we need to finish that string off with another single quote. So open double quotes, single quote, double quotes. And a close bracket to finish off that set so that so let's just run that for a second let's check that part works it doesn't do the filter yet but let's change it to blue and then if I go on the view ribbon and I look at my variables there you are there is my chart filter and you can see there is the string that I want so now we're going to click on to our chart. Okay, so I'm going to pick the one on the right hand side first and you will see there is a data. And if I click onto the data property, it's a long URL. So on the end of that URL, I'm going to put in ampersand VV. And there you are, that gives me chart filter. So there we go, that's going to go into there. And I am then going to do exactly the same to the other chart so let's press preview and let's try so if I go for green the charts refresh it has to go back to the Power BI service and get them through but there we are there are my charts go back to red and there we are, ball and hoop, and all the way through, go to blue, and we get three parts, and we get, it obviously didn't sell anything blue on Monday or Tuesday. There we go, we have done bringing in some tiles into our report. We have looked at a tile that didn't come through the first time. We've added a filter and we've built a filter string based off that drop down box so that our charts can be filtered hope you've enjoyed it if you haven't already please press subscribe take care now <laughs>